Hey guys, once again, I'm Shay from Polygon Motion, and uh, in this tutorial, we want to create a very nice, colorful, clean liquid transition. The name is a little bit longer, but the design process and creating process of this liquid transition is very simple. Okay, let's take a look what we want to create in this tutorial. You see a very nice liquid transition in here with text animation and also a little bit tiny line. Okay, I've created new composition in here, and my composition is um, HDTV, and also duration of two is good, and also frame rate. What frame rate you want, it's not important, but in here I'm just using this uh, frame rate. Okay, the first thing that I want to create uh, is solid, or you can use shape. I think shape is better than solid. Let's uh, create a new shape, this color. Also, I have to mention that to create this kind of liquid transition, we have different ways to create that and I will show you the ways that we can create and also the better way to create that we will discuss about that okay I create a very uh, larger shape larger from actual screen and once you create that let's rename this to shape very nice and uh, Let's uh, go to a position, press P in the keyboard and uh, make a keyframe. Go in here and uh, also I have to place it below. And go in here. Make it at the top of the screen to cover all the screen. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look. The animation is not so good because uh, it's very linear and uh, we want to create easy ease interpolation for that for a smooth animation and also maybe a little bit faster and select that go to uh, graph editor and make sure that your graph editor is in edit speed graph you can use edit value graph also but in this case in this tutorial i'm just using edit speed graph okay now I want to create a very slow inner point for this and also a faster outer point. Let's take a look. I think it's good, but not much more. Maybe a little bit. Good, not bad. Okay. The first way to create this liquid at the edge of this uh, shape this is by going to the shape continent and uh, select your rectangle, add, select add and also add a vehicle pad. Once you click on add a vehicle pad, once I go to size and now if I change the size of this, let's uh, make it like this and also once I change the size of that, you see a very nice uh, liquid and also I want to change the point interpolation very nice and once I change to this to a smooth and also a little bit detail you see a very nice liquid type transition and you see it's also animatable also animated uh, that you can also control its animation by changing the duration and value of this vehicle in second for example if I change this to then it's very faster and we don't want that. Okay. Let's make it two and also change the size. Okay, very nice. And now we have a very good transition. The second way to create that is not only for shape. It's it's for each footage that you are importing inside of after. For example, solids or videos or anything else. It's the turbaling displays effect that when you type turbaling displays it's appear in the dessert category and uh, let me shut off the wiggle pad and uh, once I drag this to my shape you see a very good animation and displacement. If I go to amount and change the amount of it you see it's create a lot of displacement for my object and also if I change the size you see a very good result 
like this and let's uh, add a little bit value not too much because we don't want and also let's take a look it's good but in here we have some issues that we want to fix and uh, also let's down the complexity and also the amount yeah very nice we achieved that kind of look and it's very cool and you can play around with these values and also I want to create an expression to the ev uh, evolution and uh, if I change the evolution you see that it's controlling the animation of it then I want to create an expression uh, let's alt click to evolution and uh, type time multiply 20 and what time does is take your property and create a rotation around the time without any keyframing it's very useful expression okay and now once you create that let's duplicate this once you duplicate change the color to yellow and also delete turbaling displays and also continent rectangle in vehicle pad on the vehicle pad and also make a little bit adjustment and give it a little bit not too much because we don't want this and change the color to maybe blue or anything that you want and now you see to maybe a little bit off the screen and also so randomness to there very good and now duplicate another layer and make this green another color and also make it a little bit faster now let's take a look very nice not too bad and also maybe a little bit shadow between these layers let's give a little bit of space that kind of differentiated between these layers and it's very good dropping shadow and I like this effect a lot okay now it's good let's type our fixed and polygon motion of the caps lock place it in the center of your uh, let me open the align for better adjustment and use a bolder typeface for this motion and also change this to white maybe change this to something like yellow I think it's good and uh, let's animate that once complete we want to animate the text and uh, select animate opacity also a little bit position to that change the position in here and also opacity to zero and go to range selector animate the start like this and uh, very good make it easy ease take a look very good a little bit faster okay nice and also let's create a tiny line in here make a new shape and make it like this this color and create an arc shape sorry like this and very good of the fell also a stroke a little bit go to shape continent and uh, use a term pad for this okay let's adjust it a little bit maybe delay the fill go to stroke and change the color in here and uh, select the pad a little bit tweaking to the pad small
color, select your shape, add a term pad for animating. Or we have already a term pad, I just forgot that. And let's uh, animate the ending point and also the start point. Make these keyframes easy and uh, let's take a look. Very good, but it's it's faster, way more faster than it's unusual, I think. Good, but a little bit adjustment. Nice and uh, very good. You can also use different kinds of uh, motion elements for for this uh, fix. For example, you can use burst. Uh, you can check out my other tutorials on YouTube that uh, covers all the motion graphic elements. For example, how to create burst, how to create other uh, elements. And let's add an image below of that and see the final result. You see, it's very nice and you can use that in your motion graphic videos and also in your videos. Don't forget to subscribe to Impali and Motion YouTube channel for a great motion graphic and visual fix tutorial. And also check out our courses on Udemy and Skillshare platforms. For now, goodbye and see you next time.